Three bedrooms, one level with a great meadow view in gorgeous Saddle Lake Farms. Colleen and David Black, Keller Williams Realty. Call on Colleen. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the third day of December. James Spann here. For those of you new to this, we crank these out twice a day, every day throughout the year. We kind of dig deep and check the uh, situation behind the forecast so you can see what we're thinking. So let's go right to the Skycam shot since everybody's buzzing about snow Saturday morning. Let's see a Chiha Skycam. It's cold up there, 40 degrees at 1 o'clock, and it's cloudy. It's pretty much the deal all across the state. There's the Demopolis Sky Cam in West Alabama where Christmas on the River is this weekend. Fantastic nautical parade coming down that river Saturday night. If you've never been, you ought to go some year. It's going to be cold this year for all of the activities there. And that's the Montgomery Sky Cam. That's the Eastern Bypass. Could it be that they get more snow than Birmingham Saturday morning? We'll talk about that. There's a look at the water vapor satellite shot at 1 o'clock, and on top of that, those are the contours at 500 millibars. Big trough axis well to the west, and it's your classic case of cold air down at the surface and a southwest flow aloft. That often means cloudy and cold weather, and by golly, it's cloudy and cold. Look at Haleyville, 39 degrees at 1 o'clock. Cullman, 40, mid-40s around here, Birmingham and Anniston, 45, and tomorrow should be very much like today, mostly cloudy and cold. How much precipitation will fall over the next five days? Uh, this comes from the guys at HPC, and this is suggesting a, a liquid equivalent of one hundredth to one tenth of an inch around here, and that would equate to a dusting to maybe one inch of snow. And the heavier rains down in the Gulf of Mexico, the big bullseyes down around Tampa Bay with four inches of rain down there. All right, let's walk you through it. These are the 12Z uh, model runs. This is the GFS at noon tomorrow, noon Friday. You can see the lobe coming through the trough down in West Texas and down below that. Precipitation begins to break out. This run of the GFS continues to be a bit drier, especially for Texas. Uh, still some chance of snow in Houston tomorrow. How about that? And ultimately, maybe Lake Charles, Louisiana and Lafayette, Louisiana. But we stay dry, cloudy and cold, much like today. But let's right get to our critical time frame here. This is 6 o'clock Saturday morning. First off, the GFS. The blue line, that's the freeze line at 5,000 feet, which can be a fairly decent rain-snow line. That line is well below Montgomery, but there's not much moisture here, very little. And that's suggesting only a few flurries or a dusting. The NAM is more aggressive with the moisture, and that would suggest maybe some light accumulating snow uh, for places like Thomasville and Selma and Prattville and Lafayette. Down to the south, around here, moisture awfully skimpy there. Canadian model, the GEM, and again, the uh, this model not as cold, but the moisture a bit farther north, and that would suggest a crack at a bit of light snow here, maybe some light accumulation. And the European keeps the deeper moisture down to the south. That would suggest basically nothing here, just a few flurries. So you get the idea that looking at all of this, more than likely, we're just not going to get a whole lot. This is not going to be some big deal you'll talk about in years to come. Uh, we'll look at the uh, graphic here coming off the NAM. This is the accumulated snow, and this is suggesting just a trace for the uh, Birmingham metro there. Oddly enough, the heavier snow shows up over there west of Meridian, Mississippi, between Meridian and Jackson, uh, where it's some two-inch amounts would be possible if this is right. But, again, that's suggesting... Maybe some spots getting one inch, the darker shades of purple. And uh, quickly a look at the GFS accumulated snow, and that thing's just showing really nothing, just flurries based on the 12Z run. We're kind of rolling with something like that. Potential for one inch or so through central Alabama, and that's just potential. That doesn't mean it's going to snow that much everywhere. And remember, the soil temperatures are in the 50s, so we don't expect any driving problems, maybe a few little slick spots on bridges. And like I always say, we have more accidents here with one inch of rain instead of one inch of snow. The streets will be wet, so be careful. But again, a dusting to one inch uh, in the general area between Troy and Birmingham. To the north, just flurries, and maybe nothing for Cullman and Huntsville. And below Montgomery or below Troy in Greenville, uh, maybe some sleet and some rain and maybe a few flakes mixed in there. But, uh, again, uh, just more uh, novelty than anything else in that main window for the snowflakes would be from about uh, 2 o'clock uh, Saturday morning until 
late morning, something like that. And then by midday Saturday, should be all over with all the action moving off to the east. If you're traveling Atlanta, same deal. They could see a few uh, snowflakes, some light snow there Saturday, but we don't expect any driving problems for those people headed to the SEC championship game. Sunday will be dry, a cold morning, uh, an afternoon high close to 50 as we moderate somewhat. But, yeah, we see that 1,052 millibar high up over uh, uh, the western part of Canada. Uh, Monday of next week, that drops down into Montana. Big snowstorm develops for Denver and the Front Range out there. Big storm. And around here, moisture moves in. That suggests a chance of some rain by Monday afternoon. Tuesday, the air stays relatively moist. This suggesting the heaviest rain Tuesday off to the west. Big snowstorm continues in the southern Rockies. And Wednesday, the trough that's uh, helping to enhance the snow in the Rockies will be lifting out. And that would suggest a very wet day Wednesday if this is right. Maybe some strong storms. And after that, we'll have a shot of colder air. There's Thursday of next week. Looks uh, dry but rather chilly week from today. Into the forecast, December 19th. Yeah, another uh, shortwave over Texas, another batch of rain coming at us. Looks like we'll have those on a frequent basis, at least for this month and beyond. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. And by the way, the blog address, if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes, is alabamawx.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.